brother passed away almost 10 years ago in a motorcycle accident. And that just changed everything, not only in my life, but my entire family's life. So it's me and Jason, so it's a good one. It was a really hard thing to go through being 14 years old and it being a complete surprise. A big savior in my life has been writing and it's always kind of been there for me even before Jason passed away. At a certain point, you kind of get really sick of writing about sadness. So I think it was when I was a 12th grader or even just a year after I graduated high school. I was just tired of writing about death or sadness or loss. I just wanted to be happy. And I feel like that's when I took on the joke aspect of my life. And I knew I was a funny person. So I started writing joke raps, which led me into coming horsepower. <laughs> Growing up, I was obsessed with Hindi movies. My mom got me really into them, and we always had been super culturally attached to our heritage, which is in India. Um, because of my obsession with Hindi movies and always lo loving the costume and the drama that comes with Bollywood, I started finding out that my music was missing that link, like what was I passionate about? So I started using Bollywood samples for my tracks and that kind of added a new spin on what horsepower could be. Everybody want to dance around me. Come to the party and feel the beat. Tie up my party, roll up the tree. Burn out the table, but the floor is clean. Everybody want to come around here. Food on the table, say your prayers. Swear to the Lord, mama, pull your air. Everybody knows that you're living in fear. I noticed that with adding the Bollywood samples to my music, it gave a flavor that not a lot of people get to hear these days. There's very few South Asian women actually putting out work and so I want to be the voice for those who feel like they don't have the confidence or the ability to get up there and stand and speak and use their voice and say whatever they want to say. And I do that with the drama of Bollywood films and I think that's how South Asian culture, especially being Indian, plays into my music. I think everyone has their forms of light and darkness and it's this duality that you're living with pain and joy and like the amount of pain you feel one day you're gonna feel the opposite you're gonna feel that amount of high and uh, I think that I kind of take that into my life with always understanding that like you go through certain things to get to certain points and I've gone through really low lows so I'm working towards those high highs there is a little bit of Jason in me that pushes forward and I really think that I'm kind of pursuing my art for him and myself and everyone that's dealt with grief and loss and trying to empower themselves through it all.